I heard a great big bang and it shook the house. A big explosion, I think that's what woke me up um, out of my sleep. I, probably the vehicles had blown up at that point. Families and small children are homeless after an early morning fire ripped through three homes in this Cranston neighborhood. I really feel bad for the owners of the houses. They have nothing. Uh, just a very sad scene. It's a scary thing. Um, we just want to make sure everybody's safe. We got everybody out of the house and uh, neighbors worked well together down here. Everybody stood behind each other. People living in the area say they were awakened at about 2 o'clock to the sound of bangs and pops. We woke up from a um, uh, knocking sound, basically it looks like it was hailing, so we thought we should close the window. My wife got up, she, when she came to the window, we saw that uh, the house has fire in the garage. By the time we came down, everyone was on the road and the whole house was on fire. It was cold. I mean, we're out in the street for about an hour and a half last night in the, in the cold. I had my house coat and sweaters on. The intensity of this fire is evident even across the street where vinyl siding on homes has melted off. I mean, uh, our house is, was next if, if, if the fire could close off. Oh, I get nothing either. I even now, in the first morning hours after the blaze, residents and fire officials are trying to figure out what exactly happened. For the Calgary Sun, I'm Lyle Aspinall.